the Bethel Healing Center to be with the young people that Pastor Irene took off the streets and still continues to take off the streets because their parents have died or they've been abandoned. We're gonna go there and have vacation Bible school with them. And then like Christmas, we're gonna gift them with many things like soccer balls and shoes. It's gonna be a great time. Pastor Irene Marjorie was outside of the orphanage to greet us, along with about 70 children, from toddlers to teenagers. They sang songs of praise, glorifying the Lord. Then each of us introduced ourselves to the children. Hi, my name is Barbara. Oh, yeah, Barbara. And I work for transportation. I'm a supervisor. And I am. I couldn't wait to get here to the orphanage. My daughter's at home, but um, I feel blessed to spend time with all of you children. I never felt so loved as I did last night when I held that little girl. Oh. <laughs> Just as we finished our introductions, the sky opened up. We all ran for cover to the nearest building, which just so happened to be their prayer room. 61 Americans and about 70 people from the orphanage jammed into this room to escape the torrential downpours, hail and wind, but we could not. Right now, it's raining, the rain is coming through the roof. Yet the people of God are singing. We're here, excited about all what God is doing. The building here right now is built by bricks and mortar. Of course, there's much help that is needed. But these kids are kids that is worth the sacrifice. They're the next generation. We have collaborated together to believe that God is going to do the exceedingly abundantly above all that we can actually think according to the power that works within the Lord. The rain turned out to be a blessing for the orphans. Someone in the crowd asked, how much does it cost to buy doors and put windows in? Pastor Irene said the doors were $50 and the windows $25. The next night at Pastor Irene's church, we raised more than $2,000 for windows and doors for the orphanage. By now the rain died down and it was time for lunch. Pastor Irene shows us the new kitchen Three women cooked over a wood-burning stove with mud from the rains all over the concrete floor. Pastor Irene served the children their meal of beef, beans, cabbage, and boiled plantains. They prefer to eat beans. Seeing the children without shoes, very little clothes, and it was cold and damp. And how blessed we are in America And with the abundance we have in America, if we could just take the, whatever we have, the extras that we have, and provide it to those children. There's many of us women in particular that just want to hug those children and nurture them. At that moment, they taught us something. I've never seen anything like it. I know that we're gonna see many of them rise to high heights in life. And we just, I just felt as though if we could just instill a little bit that we have, the knowledge and wisdom that we have into them, that that information will help catapult them to the careers and heights that they want to reach in life. They just need a word, some love and kindness. More blessings are just about to rain on the children. We each brought a bag filled with clothing, shoes, dolls, and one of the hottest items, soccer balls.
After the rainstorm, then we started to pass out the bags. It was item, um, clothing items, it was shoes, and it was just amazing to see the excitement from the children. Um, it was like we were giving out gold. It was actually like we were giving out gold, and it was just so touching because, my, these children, you know, they have nothing, and but they're so appreciative. The Lord spoke to me and said, they are my lights into the heavens. I am pleased with them. And I'm pleased with Pastor Irene and snatching them from death off the streets as they were dying of AIDS. And then it just gripped my heart and inside something said, which I know is the Holy Spirit, you must help her. And I've been trying to help her for the last seven years.